All right, you guys, so welcome to part one of this declutter. Clearly, we're going to be going through eyeshadow palettes today. I'm hoping to go through all of the eyeshadow palettes in today's video, so it's going to kind of be like a more sped up version. Without further ado, let's just jump right into today's declutter. All right, you guys, so the first couple palettes that I have right up here are these right here. Hopefully, you guys can see them. So these are the neon palettes from Huda Beauty. So this one right here is the orange one. It looks like this. It is super super cute. I am going to keep this because I do like the shades and I also love the packaging. The next one is the pink one. Also super beautiful. Hopefully you guys can see the true colors. It looks pretty good from where I'm looking but also there is a super bright ring light in front of me but I'm going to keep this. Next up is the neon green one. Absolutely obsessed. I am going to hold on to this as well. Then I have this baby right here. I purchased this a while ago. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Balm Pose palette. And when you open it up, this is what she looks like. I am going to actually go ahead and put this in the giveaway bin because like I said, I've never used it and I don't think I am ever going to use it. But it is a really beautiful palette. I would swatch it, but again, I do want to put it in the giveaway so I'm not going to put my fingers in these eyeshadows. Next up, I do have these Huda Beauty palettes. This is the Nudes collection. So there's a light, a medium, and a deep. These are so beautiful and I love how nude they are. So here is the light palette. It is so pretty. You guys can see I have used this one, so I am going to hold on to it this is the nude medium another gorgeous palette i'm gonna keep this and then we have this one which is the deep palette which is so pretty and i also have the mini norvina palettes which i feel like everyone has and i am gonna go ahead and keep all of these they're super nostalgic and i just have to hold on to them next up i have this melt cosmetics stack and this stack specifically is only in my collection because it was gifted to me by a really good friend of mine that i used to work with at ulta and i don't know i just feel like it's really beautiful Beautiful. I'm gonna hold on to it just for the memories and I have this baby right here This is the P Louise the love affair palette So here's what the packaging looks like right here and when you open it up these are the shades I love these palettes from P Louise. I think they're so beautiful and you guys know I'm a huge fan So we're keeping this for sure next I have this palette right here from Huda This is her mint palette a part of her mint series. I do have all the palettes um, Honestly, I don't use these much, but you know what guys I'm a hoarder and so since I'm keeping all the other little Huda Beauty palettes, I'm going to keep these as well. I also have this beautiful palette from Huda. You guys, it's stunning. Let me just show you what it looks like. This right here is the Wild Jaguar palette. It's so freaking beautiful. Honestly, I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I don't know if I would ever use this now that I'm looking at it. But the shimmers are so gorgeous. So I'm going to put this in the maybes. I might put it in a giveaway. The next three palettes that I have in here are these. You guys, these are so nostalgic. Like if you know, you know when the of colors was that brand people went crazy for these these don't even look like this anymore they've completely changed the packaging which means these are hella expired but let me show you guys what they look like so this one right here is the berries palette it's so beautiful though like can we get into those shades stunning the perfect warm cranberry tones it's so beautiful then you have the sassy siennas which was my personal favorite i actually use this one a lot this gives you a really beautiful smoky eye it's stunning and then i also had this palette right here which i actually never used which is insane but again i'm pretty sure these are super expired so i don't want to put them in giveaways um this one i actually never used but the other two i did so these are all going to go in the trash pile next up i have the natasha denona love palette which is such a beautiful palette you guys i have I've actually never used this I am gonna hold on to it just because she's expensive okay it's Natasha Denona and how pretty are these colors they're stunning so we're gonna keep this the next palette that I have here is the original Kendall collection with Kylie cosmetics I feel like this palette is so freaking beautiful there's just something about those lighter pastel shades however it's not as pigmented as I would like it to be I am gonna go ahead and get rid of this palette next up we have the infamous dose of color collection this was the Desi and Katie collection the BFF collab I feel like this palette never gets old okay she's expired she's crusty she's worn out but she is mine and I'm keeping her next up I have this palette right here this is the equalizer palette from sample beauty you guys look at this palette it's so beautiful I'm getting to the palette it is so beautiful and I have never used it so that's why I'm doing this declutter so I can see what I have so I can start using some new things in videos so we're definitely keeping this palette then I have another sample beauty palette let's see what this one looks like I honestly don't even remember this you guys look at this 
like I have never even used this palette in a video never used it in general it's stunning those greens and those blues amazing so definitely gonna keep this out so that way I can use this as well and then I do have a couple more of the P Louise love tapes mini palettes so let me just quickly show you guys these so this right here is the date night palette you guys oh my goodness so beautiful P Louise never disappoint this one right here is called the wedding wish palette literally the perfect bridal palette it's so pretty and do you guys see the beautiful imprints on the shimmer shadows I'm obsessed so another beautiful palette and then we have this one right here which is called the big vacation palette which is filled with your warm tones so pretty definitely keeping this as well welcome to the next drawer so let's jump right in so this first palette that i have here is the city colors dazed palette i love this palette it's super affordable i think it's 14 dollars for this glitter palette and it is so pretty you literally have every glitter that you need i still do recommend using these with a glitter glue or glitter primer like the next one um, but they're stunning i'm absolutely obsessed i do also have a discount code with city colors it is Tatanisha 10 at the checkout. It saves you 10% off your purchase. All my discount codes are always down below in the description box, but I am for sure keeping this. Next up, I have the Natasha Denona. This is the Sunrise Palette. Such a beautiful palette. Also, another palette that I have actually never used, which is insane. And I just showed you guys the pink one, so I'm actually going to put this in the top drawer where the pink one is. Next up, I have this Dominique Cosmetics Palette. They actually sent this palette my way, which I am super grateful for, but I know I'm never going to use this palette and I actually rather give it to someone who will. It is a really beautiful palette and it has that really beautiful glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the giveaway pile. Then we have a super nostalgic palette. This is the Dose of Colors and I Love Sarah E. Do you guys remember this palette? If you are a OG and you've been in the YouTube game for a while or you've been watching YouTube for a really long time, you know that this collection was so, so hyped. And now I look at it and I'm like, mm, I would never go for these colors together in a palette like this today so I'm actually going to go ahead and put this in the maybe pile just because I think I actually want to do a drawer for like all of the youtuber collabs like the super nostalgic stuff that I own but we shall see because your girl's really running out of space all right you guys this palette is pretty big so I had to close the drawer to really show you guys but how cute is this it's stunning this right here is actually a jcap palette and here is what the palette looks like it's actually very very pretty I actually really like it a lot it's a super affordable drugstore palette but I usually don't go to like drugstore palettes when it comes to color because I feel like they don't have pigment so maybe I should give this one a try so I'm gonna put it to the side as a maybe um, but there is another one in this collection so let's actually look at that one and maybe I can just keep one and put one in a giveaway okay so here's the other palette and I think I'm gonna keep this one just because it's New York City like how could I not this has like all my favorite places on here if you guys could see it has Rockefeller Center the Central Park Zoo the Museum of Natural History and this is what this one looks like so I do feel like the other one is a little bit prettier because the colors are nicer but I also like love the cover of this one so I'm a little bit in between so I think I'm just gonna keep them both the next thing that I have in this drawer is this Jeffree Star highlighter palette I know not a lot of people like Jeffree Star but I'm just being real with you guys and showing you guys what is in my collection it's a super beautiful packaging like even if you don't like him you can't deny that this packaging is just absolutely stunning I've never even gotten the chance to use this it is a highlighter palette and like I said it's simply just because I know there's a lot of controversy when it comes to Jeffree Star and I just don't want to have that debate I truly just have his stuff because I genuinely enjoy his line um, but yeah so that's my little spiel on that I've never used this but it's so beautiful love the packaging so I'm definitely keeping this next up this is the stormy palette here is what that palette looks like and even looking at it today I feel like it's such a beautiful palette you guys and this is with little stormy baby I don't sound nothing like Kylie but you guys get the point so I think I am gonna hold on to this just because I love the aesthetic too and like it was an iconic collection okay this collection launched even before she decided to rebrand so I'm gonna keep this next up I have this beautiful beautiful PR box from Be Bella Cosmetics this palette right here which is actually their pastel palette and I am actually going to put this in the giveaway which is super super exciting and I'm also gonna leave it in the really cute PR box packaging so that way you guys can feel like 
make you guys your own little PR and you can use it for decor because it's so freaking cute. Next up, I have this palette right here. I think this was one of the Kylie birthday palettes. Um, it's really beautiful. This is the You're So Money Baby, but I'm never ever going to use this again. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this. It is swatched. So what I'm going to do is put this in a pile and like kind of just let people pick from it. Like family members, friends, that kind of thing because I would never put something like this in a giveaway just because like, you know, I feel like it's just not sanitary. Next up, I have the iconic MAC and Selena palette. I am totally keeping this, not getting rid of this ever. You guys know if you follow me, I'm a huge fan of Selena. Um, I have a whole vlog dedicated to when Kiki and I went to her museum in her hometown, Corpus Christi, Texas, and I am obsessed with her. So I'm definitely keeping this. It's definitely a collector's item. That is why it is still in the box. Next up, I have the Raw Beauty Christie collection with Pure Cosmetics. You guys, if you know, you know, when this palette came out, it was all the rage. It was so hard to get this palette. This is another like beauty influencer collab type of thing. So I'm going to put this to the side for now. Next up, I have this palette right here from Colored Rain. You guys, this is one of the most beautiful, colorful palettes I own. Next up, I have the Hank and Henry. This is the tie-dye collection in collaboration with an influencer. And I am going to go ahead and keep this palette as well. It is so, so beautiful. I've actually given this palette away in a giveaway before. So this is my own one. I am going to go ahead and keep it. You guys know I live for color. And the last palette in this drawer is this one right here. This is the Ethereal Bloom palette from Artist Couture. Packaging is so beautiful and the shades inside are stunning. Um, again, this is another palette that I've actually never used, but I love how beautiful it is. So I am going to go ahead and keep this. All right, you guys. So we're getting into the next drawer. So the first palette that I have is the Be Perfect Love Tahiti. You guys know this is my baby. I mean, I've hit pan on so many of these eyeshadows. This is one of my most used, if not my most used palette in my collection. So we are keeping her. I also have actually a brand new one somewhere but this is the one that I'm currently using. And I do have both of the Patrick Ta palettes. Let me just show you guys what they look like. Okay, so this right here is the original Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. Such a beautiful neutral palette. It has the two creams and then of course the eyeshadows, some mattes, some shimmers. Such a gorgeous palette. Definitely expensive, but so worth it. And then here is the Major Dimensions Volume 2, the more mauve tones. It's so pretty, but again, you have the two creams and then the mattes at the bottom and the shimmers at the top definitely keeping this palette next up I have the Kylie Cosmetics and Elm Street collection from I think this was last year's Halloween collection or maybe the year before it is so nostalgic you guys I love Halloween and horror movies are like my favorite kind of movies besides chick flicks so I'm definitely keeping this here I have another one of the P Louise love tapes palette and this right here is the going solo palette definitely different from anything else I have in my collection this is a true cool tone palette it has all your grays shimmers it is just so so beautiful okay next up i have my makeup by mario master matte palette this palette is well loved and also you guys it's a little messed up okay she's been through some things i did go on a trip to new york my handsome godson He's little. He actually just turned three. He basically just dug his fingers in all the shadows. Thankfully, none of them broke, which is amazing, but that's why it looks a little muddy. But still, she's intact and definitely one of my favorite palettes when I want to do a soft, neutral, everyday glam. Next up, I have the absolutely beautiful palette from Lunar Beauty. This is the Moon Spell. I use this palette every single year as decor in my room, in my space, whatever I have at the moment. You guys, it's stunning. I mean get into it the names are perfection you have Sabrina Paige Phoebe Piper all the witch names which I'm obsessed with and it's just it's so beautiful have you ever seen packaging this stunning never honey so we are keeping this then of course I have the made by Mitchell this is the feet on the ground palette such a beautiful palette you guys look at this so pretty I don't use these palettes enough but it's stunning so I'm gonna keep this then we have another beautiful lunar beauty palette I love lunar beauty's packaging I feel like Manny kills it with the palette Packaging. This is the Eternal Eclipse palette. This is what it looks like right here. It's a super unique color story, I feel like, and the shimmers in here are absolutely beautiful, so I'm definitely going to keep this. Next up, we probably have my all-time favorite palette that he's ever created. This right here is the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream palette. You guys, this packaging is so beautiful. I feel like people went crazy when this launched. And even the colors inside are just gorgeous. Um, hopefully he still has this palette on his website. 
you guys you need it if you don't have it pigment is there the colors are beautiful and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it then here we have another lunar beauty palette this palette he does not make any more you guys this palette is so pretty it's definitely super neutral I feel like if I was to see in this palette on like trend mood today I wouldn't be like over the moon excited but like when this launched this was the it girl people went crazy for it so I'm definitely gonna keep this palette because packaging packaging is beautiful all right you guys so here's the next drawer so the first palette that i have in here is this one this is the morphe x nyan fierce fairy tale palette it's a beautiful palette the packaging is absolutely gorgeous and then here are the shades when you go ahead and open it up honestly you guys i don't think i'm going to use this palette i did purchase it with my own money actually recently but i don't know i'm going to put this in the maybe pile next up i have this morphe palette right here this is actually the 35t sweetest tea palette so here's a palette right here here is what it looks like it is so beautiful definitely keeping this you guys look at those shades they're super super vibrant obviously i have not created a look with this palette yet but now that i'm decluttering i can see all the things that i haven't used yet okay the next palette that i have here is from glam light this is the glam light wine palette and you guys i'm gonna be completely honest with you this palette was actually pretty patchy which actually sucks i feel like because this palette is so pretty but i've tried to do a look with this twice and the purples they pack on a really good pigment but when you go to blend it kind of fades and gets patchy so i have used this quite a few times i'm gonna put this in the friends pile the next palette that i have here is the ace beauts this is their tropical vibes palette you guys get into this palette those greens are so freaking beautiful so i am gonna hold on to this palette i haven't used this yet either again like i said i do have some jeffree star palettes this right here is the pricked palette packaging is 10 out of 10 it's a little purse it is so cute it does have a clasp on the top here which is how it opens and closes and then here is what the palette looks like inside like i said i don't even want to get into this but i just want to show anybody who wants to see what it looks like inside i am keeping this palette next up i have have the beauty bay and nikki tutorials palette you guys honestly this was another palette that i feel like i was the only person on this earth that had problems with blending with this palette i don't think that i'm ever gonna use this palette again but like i said it is a collaboration with a youtuber so i am gonna put it in my little drawer with all the youtuber collabs next up i have a ton of the mel cosmetic palettes so let's go through them this right here is the mel cosmetics radioactive palette another palette that i never used and i don't think i ever am so i'm actually gonna go ahead and put this in the giveaway pile then we also have this one right here this right here is the mel cosmetics smoke sessions palette it's such a beautiful palette and the shimmers are gorgeous but i feel like i also had a problem with blending this so i am gonna go ahead and put this in the friends pile because i have used it before then i have this palette right here from mel cosmetics this is the millennial pinks palette so i'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of this palette because i know i'm not gonna use it so one of you guys will be able to enjoy it a little bit more next up i have this artist couture palette you guys know if you have been following me for a while that i am a diehard fan for this formula i didn't buy his newest palette because i feel like people are saying that the formula was just not there for them but this palette right here here formula is amazing it is so good this is the artist couture supreme nudes palette i am definitely keeping this next up i have the original palette from mac daddy this right here is the artist couture midnight maven palette it's so pretty but also something that i will never use i did swatch one shade so i am gonna put it in the friends pile then of course i have the artist couture caliente palette i love his palettes so i'm gonna keep this one too next up you guys i used to be that girl that would buy every single Too faced palette that launched because packaging packaging just gets me if you're also a sucker for packaging give this video a thumbs up because same so this right here is the Too Faced gingerbread this is the extra spicy version it's so pretty but like i feel like where my artistry is today Too Faced shadows just are not my cup of tea so i'm actually gonna go ahead and put this in the giveaway pile it is absolutely brand new and it also smells delicious so i hope one of you guys are able to get your hands on it all right you guys next palette here is from mel cosmetics as well i actually have a lot of mel cosmetics this is called the 420 palette the color story of this palette is so unique 
I'm definitely keeping this. Okay, so the next palette that I have here is the Rust Palette from Melt Cosmetics. Another super beautiful palette, but I have so many tones like this already. I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. Then I also have this palette right here. This is their Gemini Palette. So freaking beautiful. Definitely keeping this one. And then, of course, these beautiful palettes from Melt Cosmetics. You guys, these are a literal work of art. Let me show you guys what they look like. So here's the blue palette right here. It's so pretty. Again, I feel like shades like this I don't really have. So I'm going to keep this palette. And then here is the turquoise. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm also keeping it. Alright you guys, so moving on to the next drawer. You guys can see this is gem packed with stuff as well so let's get into the palettes. I'm also in the most awkward position ever so hopefully you guys can see the palette. So this right here is a P. Louise palette. This is the Watch the Queen Conquer palette. This is one of the coolest palettes that I own in my collection. So it does have two sides and when you actually open it up in the center you guys, it's a chessboard. How cool. I wish it came with pieces, but it doesn't, but it's still cool. So this is the first side right here. It's a beautiful pink, purple, peachy palette. You have a lot of mattes and a few shimmers. If you guys don't know, Paige, which is the CEO of P. Louise, she is a matte queen and she really loves matte, colorful looks like myself. So you will see that throughout the P. Louise palettes, they mostly have matte shades and not shimmer shades. So here is the other side, so freaking beautiful you guys, and this palette is always on sale on their website. Also when they go live on TikTok, they always give a code TikTok50 and you get literally 50% off the whole website. So if you don't have this palette, definitely get it, it's so beautiful. Next up I have the Lorac, this is the Circus Temp palette, another amazing brand. This is a UK brand, you guys will see I'm obsessed with UK makeup. I feel like they're just on another level, like we are so behind here in the US and their artistry is just like top tier so this palette is amazing the pigment is insane and it blends so well i do have a few videos with this palette on my channel i will link them down below in the description box so you guys can check them out next up i have this right here this is the naked palette from urban decay you guys like was this not everyone's first expensive palette like was this not your first high-end purchase because it definitely was for me before i even got into youtube and anything like that I feel like I was watching YouTube and all the popular YouTubers were talking about this palette. Like, when we look at this palette today, would you even buy this? Because I wouldn't. But it is so nostalgic. It's where my story began. So I am going to hold on to this. Next up, I have this palette right here. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. You guys, honestly, I'm never going to use this palette. It sits in my drawer, so I'm actually going to put this in the Friends pile because I have used it before. Then, of course, we have the beautiful Naked Cherry Palette. Fun fact, I actually got this palette for free when I was working as a manager at Ulta. I actually got this as gratis. If you guys don't know what gratis is, it's basically free makeup when you work for a makeup store. And I got this as gratis, never used it, but it is so beautiful. And let me tell you, when I actually found out that I was getting this, I was so excited about it, but of course, I never even used this, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the giveaway pile. Next up, I have the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. This palette is honestly so beautiful. All of these Urban Decay palettes are stunning. Now that I'm looking at them on the camera, I'm like, maybe I won't give them away. Maybe I will keep them just a little bit longer. I'm going to hold on to this one. All right, you guys, let's be real. Who remembers the OG Urban Decay Electric Palette before color was color? This was our colorful palette. If you had this palette, like, you were that girl. So here is what mine looks like. She's chalky. She's dusty. I use this so many times, but, like, now, this is, like, not pigmented whatsoever. This is, like, chalk, okay, compared to the way pigment is now in colorful shadows. Next up, I have the Urban Decay. This is their Wild West palette. So here's what that palette looks like, you guys. It's so pretty. I don't think I'm ever going to use this. So it hurts my heart to say, but I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. Then I have this palette right here for Burberry Decay as well. Kiki is cracking up in the background, you guys. Just helping me with today's video. She's like, are you sure you want to get rid of that? So this is actually the Ultra Violet palette. And here's what this palette looks like right here. Also a really pretty palette. I just don't think that I'm ever going to use this. So I'm actually going to put this in the giveaway pile. All right, you guys. Next Urban Decay palette is this one right here. This, I believe, is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Yes, this is the Born to Run palette. Such a cool palette. I feel like this is the coolest packaging Urban Decay ever had. So here's what that palette looks like right here. Also, another beautiful palette, but I feel like I'm never, ever going to reach for this again. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. All right, you guys. Another nostalgic palette. This right here is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. 
I went crazy for this palette when it came out. It was so beautiful. I feel like even now, it's such a beautiful palette. I feel like if Too Faced revamped this and brought it out again, people would go crazy for it. It's so pretty. I am going to keep this. Then of course, you guys know, if you know, I'm a huge Jaclyn Hill fan. When this came out, I was so excited. This came out right after Champagne Pop obsessed i'm keeping this it's expired and i don't care okay i'm keeping it then i have the beautiful nudie patootie palette from laura lee los angeles so here's what that palette looks like it's so pretty but this is also another palette that i don't really use but it is laura lee so i'm gonna hold on to it all right you guys let's get into the next drawer these drawers are getting pretty low and like my vanity's right here so i don't really fit to put a chair so i'm gonna kind of speed through these because my back is gonna be killing me so this right here is one of the blend bunny cosmetics palettes i have all the colorful ones which you guys will see in today's video or maybe part two of this video because I don't think I'm gonna get through all the eyeshadow palettes but this right here is the blend bunny cosmetics surge palette you guys these palettes are freaking beautiful the pigment is absolutely insane I just got her most recent one which is called the primo palette it's freaking stunning but I mean you need them you guys like you definitely need them they're also pretty affordable so yeah, this is the Surge palette. I'm keeping that. You guys need to see Kiki's reaction <laughs> seeing this palette. She's like, why does it look like that? Because she's well-loved. That's why. This right here is the Anastasia. <laughs> this right here is the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. Okay. This was that girl. And I don't know if I can get rid of her because you guys... If I'm being real and, you know, giving some confessions in today's video, I still use this palette sometimes. <laughs> I love it. So, I'm keeping this. Next up, I have the Anastasia. This is the Modern Renaissance palette, you guys. Also, such a nostalgic palette. I probably should get rid of it because I'm never going to use it again. But I feel like... I don't know. These palettes just have a special place in my heart. I'm going to keep it for now. Then we have the Subculture palette. I don't even know if this palette even exists, if they even make it anymore. I don't even think you can get this unless you get it on like eBay. And this is probably her most controversial palette. I remember when this dropped, people hated it, okay? It's patchy, not pigmented. Um, so I'm going to hold on to it because I don't think you could ever get this palette anyway. So I'm kind of holding on to a gem in my collection. Although I'll never use it, I know it's kind of a waste of space, but I'm going to... Then we have this beauty right here. This is the Anastasia X Jackie Ina, Miss Jackie, 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 Jackie. You guys... This is literally the best palette they've ever created. I love this palette. It was pigmented. It was beautiful. She created something that matched every single skin tone, whether you were the deepest of the deep or the fairest of the fair. You could use this palette, and I absolutely love that. She really brought diversity to the table with this one, and I'm keeping this. Also, I love it so much that I actually have a brand new one in the box, okay? And the packaging, sickening, so I'm keeping this one too. Then we have this palette right here. I think I think this is called the prism palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills this was a really pretty palette I feel like that chartreuse shade is the reason why I purchased it in the first place and also now that I'm looking at the palette this color story makes no sense at all but again I'm gonna keep this palette like I said I'm such a huge fan and I don't know I feel like these palettes like I was in such different stages of my life when each of these came out and they just all remind me of a special memory or something that has been going on in my life during those times. So I'm keeping this. Okay, <laughs> Kiki is over here talking crap. But let me just say, if you know, you know. Okay, why do I have three Riviera palettes? Because it has the best, what? The white. The best white eyeshadow. Okay, let me show you my original one. <laughs> you guys, this whole palette. The only one I really dug into was the white. It is the most pigmented bright white I've ever used. I love it so much. Like, so much. I'm probably going to get rid of this one because it looks absolutely horrible. But I am going to open a brand new one to have. And I'm going to also put one of the three in the giveaway. But I'm going to keep two unused ones. Okay, what if a friend comes over and they never tried it and they need to try it? So, yes. Next up, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Carly Bible. I'm still such a huge fan of Carly. I feel like we all, like, literally grew up watching her. And so when she dropped this palette, it literally was her in a palette. It is so beautiful. Like, this palette, I feel like it's another one of those palettes that Anastasia collaborated with a YouTuber and just knocked it out of the park. It's so pretty, so I'm definitely keeping this. Then we have the ABH Norvina palette. Honestly, you guys, I really don't know where they were going with this palette. 
um, it is pretty but it's not something that I used all the time but again it is a part of the ABH series so we're keeping it then we have of course the ABH and Amrezi um, you guys know she's a baddie okay and this palette is actually really pretty so here is what the palette looks like I really love the blue in here obviously I haven't used this palette in forever but I feel like there's such unique shades in here the shade Barb which is this color right here is so beautiful it's a Barbie pink with a green reflex it's stunning so I'm gonna keep this palette then we have this palette right here this is the Alyssa Edwards and Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm gonna keep this obviously very pretty palette and super pigmented then of course we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills sultry palette like honestly you guys if I was to see this palette like today I would not grab this the cool tones are not for me like the, I feel like the peach is so awkward and does not belong in the palette the shimmers are pretty but they're not oh my gosh but again I already have the whole collection might as well keep this one too okay the next palette that I have here is the P Louise palette this is actually the original palette you guys it's so heavy and so big but I'm such a fan I'm gonna keep this palette you can't even see the logo it's almost rubbed off but here's what it looks like right here this is the P Louise secret center palette I don't even know if they make this palette anymore but it's stunning I'm gonna keep this okay and then we have this palette right here this is actually a newer palette from ABH I think this was last year's holiday palette this right here is the prim rose palette and it's actually really pretty you guys and the pan size is huge and it does have a blush and a bronzer which I'm here for so I'm gonna keep this palette and then of course we have the beautiful Norvina palettes when these came out it literally broke the internet so here's what this one looks like this is volume 3 it's so freaking beautiful the only thing that I have bad to say about these palettes is because they're pressed pigments sometimes they're really hard to blend and sometimes they get patchy with the most recent one which I believe is called volume 6 that was not like that palette I had so much trouble with it just keeping it real with you guys I will show you guys what it looks like but this is volume 3 then we have this one right here this is volume 2 such a beautiful beautiful palette you guys I'm telling you the colors in here are so beautiful I just wish that they were more like eyeshadows and not pressed pigments because I feel like they would blend a little bit better but nonetheless they're so beautiful so happy to have this collection and then of course we have volume 1 this is the Norvina volume 1 palette packaging is super cute